And here we have the Superliga Men's C final. Sterling Braz Jingo versus Condors FC. Just a reminder that last game, Sterling Braz Jingo knocked out Perth Galaxy. And then Condors knocked out West Coast Cobras to make it to the finals. For the team list, we have starting with Sterling Braz Jingo, number three, Cody Bacon, number five, Juan Wei Young, number 15, Nicholas Davidson, number 38. Sergio, we're just going to call him Serge. Number nine, 99, Zane Ban. Number 12, U Julian Milamachi. Number 16, Buster Claridge. Number 20, Sam Caminiti. Number 28, Stron Brunet. Number 42, John Jack Sayon. And number 24, Lex Ford C. For the Condors, we have number 11, Luda Igovaf. Number 14, George Marin Perez. Fle number 7, Felipe Alvarado. Number 5, Ethan Schumpf. Number 10, Julian Quantero. Number 1, Juan David Sanchez. Number 4, Fabian Liebler. Number 6, Felipe Antasovici. Number 9, Christian Gomez. Number 11, Flores. And an early chance there for Braza. And number 8, Jose Alando Hernandez. Should be an exciting game today as Juan Sanchez distributes short. As we see, Braz are happy to hold at this half court. Both teams trying to figure out what, what each other are trying to do. Of course, we see some good movement from the Condors. Happy to hold the ball. And a good press from Milamachi. Ball now at the centre with Alvarado. Now out wide for the Condors. Trying to find that target and they find an early ball, but Ben wasn't charged with that one, covering it well. Hitting the target earlier, big man Surge, showing his nice footwork and going himself. Disputes wide to Milamachi. Milamachi showing some very nice agility there. Juan Wei on the ball and trying to force it forward. And yeah, Sergio dispossesses Condors are now on the break. Braz are doing well to get back though. And we're starting to the halfway. Condors will look to find their target as they just shoot a wide. Bit of nerves coming out from the Condors as we see some skills almost come off, but just not close enough. Restarting play here with the Condors and what a matchup we have this morning. Obviously during the regular season, Condors did beat Sterling Braz as a cross comes into the middle, but Junwei Yong does well to clear his lines. As we saw during the season, Condors managed to get the best of Braza in their first encounter, but in the second encounter, Braza in a must-win game to secure a top two. They did beat the Condors Futsal Club as here comes Surge, goes through, but then Ford us with the shot, played advantage, no foul called. Advantage was played. Surge thought he was fouled, which he was, but then Lex Ford us took the shot and played advantage as we restart play here. Condors. Tries to find the target, but Lex Ford us with the good press. Gomez plays long, holds it up well, turns Young. Fordyce comes in though to double team Egareth. As we see, Selling Brother Jinga called for the five meters. Play back to Gomez, cuts inside, goes for the shot, and it ricochets off the crossbar. Gomez has been exceptional these opening stages, and he brought it inside and ricocheted, got past Ben and that wasn't far away, a surge. Long ball from Young, still in possession. Resets to Milamaki. Out to Young. To Fordyce, resets to Milamaki. Just taking their time in possession. Tries to go long to Surge, but well intercepted here. And now Condors can break, it's a 2v1, but Young gets, does well to get across and deny that opportunity there for 
Condors FC. Restarting play here with Gomez. Tries to hit target, but Milamachi intercepts. Milamachi cuts inside, but Surge sort of gets out of his way, but they still advance, and Milamachi with the shot there, but the Condor's defence stands strong. Surge out to Fordust. Cuts back, cuts inside, but well intercepted there by Gomez. Surge wins the ball back, tries to find Milamachi. Condor's clear. Out to Fordust, now with Young. Fordyce down to Surge, this is his favourite position on the court as he goes for the toe poke, but Gomez has gotten the better of him in that 1v1 situation. Gomez, out wide. Brings it inside, plays down, he's got past Yong, but Yong does well to recover, and now Surge is a chance, he takes it down the line, it is a 2v1, he cuts it back, good defense, he goes for the volley and it just flashed across that left goal post, wasn't far away, he had gotten Juan David Sanchez beat as we see Surge called for the next out, as we see Surge check out for Cody Baker, did score a hat trick in yesterday's B's game against the Condors. In that quarterfinal matchup, as Yong clears to Fordyce, but loose touch cleared by Milamachi. Yong back in possession. Out wide to Fordyce. Milamachi wide to Baker. Cuts inside to Fordyce. Baker did well to get there, but just ran out of space and found himself hitting into the wall. Gomez restarts in possession. Baker does well. He pockets him, but just ran out of space. Juan David Sanchez in possession. He's the captain for today's grand final. What a match we have on our hands. Now the team are backing down. They're both up for it. Intense atmosphere, as we see on the left side of the grandstand, all the brazos from fans, and then obviously Condors. They always have their... Fans can, a bit of scrappy play there, but as I was saying on the right side of the grandstand, we see all the Condors fans supporting their club. It's been a good season for them in the Men's Super League, see as Cody Baker does well to intercept that shot. Out wide. Milamachi out to Fordyce. Baker goes for the shot, laid it up to Lamarchi. One David Sanchez. Plays it out to his defenders. And now Condors will just be happy to bring it up to halfway. Davidson does well to come across, and now they've got a breaking opportunity. Baker down the line. He was fouled. He was fouled initially. Be a free kick for... Braza setting up what looks to be a set play as we see Davidson check on the court. Milamachi finding the ball to tie it to Baker. Baker doing very well, trying to turn and shoot, but covered well. And Davidson with a beautiful shot, spills out from Juan Sanchez. But Cody Baker couldn't get a toll on that one, unfortunately, for Braza. Burnett out to Milamachi. Milamachi out wide to Davidson. Back to Milamachi. Davidson going for a deep run. Finding him back and nice check back from Davidson as he shows nice physicality. Burnett just almost tacked his own teammate there, but ends out with the Condor's ball. Play restarts. Condor's very happy to just move this ball up to the halfway. Hernandez on the ball, play, passing out wide. Finding a nice ball to Schumpf, who tries to take his play down the line, but Milamachi had that one covered. Back in the centre for the Condors. Out wide with Anto Savici. Nice ball to the target, but Davison had him covered in that circumstance. As Bernays now driving, tries to find the ball to Baker, but just behind his run. Call is halfway for Braza. As we see Jaden U check on for Braza. 
sorry, Yonyak Sayon. Condors showing nice rotation as they find the target, but Davison intercepts as he's getting pressed and tries to find a ball through, but pushes the Condors back. We have first minutes for number 14, Juan Marina Perez. Condors look long as they force the ball forward and Sue does well and Baker collects the seconds. Now Condors are driving as Hernandez is getting pressed. Good turn there from Perez as he skips past two. Ban was, ban was in two minds about where to come up there but it, in the end he made the right decision and stuck to his line. So you see the crowd chanting for the Condors as that goes out for a corner. Condors getting pressed early and that will be a Condors side ball. Hernandez sending over it. Shoots early but Braza are now on the break here putting on some good pressure as he skips past Baker and shows some immaculate skill. But Sayon had him covered. Hernandez making some space. Now on the ball. Distributing wide. Good rotations here from the Condors. Tiger dropping short as they try and find the runner of the flanker and seems to have bubbled his way as Burnett just sees it out. Ball just be short. Condor's looking for that early shot to challenge Ban and Davison putting on some nice pressure. Ball out wide for the Condors. Nice chip ball forward. Antich and definitely a push in the back end to Burnett. Also from Burnett. Levy are checking on for his first minutes of the match for the Condors. Of course, Condors have a big bench here using all but one of their spots as well as Braza. Hernandez standing over this ball and shoots and well wide. Ban restarting. Throwing long, hitting Baker well. Baker trapping well but trying to turn the first time and Condors haven't covered. Now Condors are looking for the counter and cut out well by Sayon. Ball in the center for the Condors. Trying to find that ball over the top, but finds the target instead. Perez can't control those. He presses Davidson, and now it's on the break for the Condors. As it's now Perez, and Perez shoots and scores for the first goal of the game. Mistake coming out from Braza and capitalized on by the Condors. Beautiful toe poke finish, beating Ban. Not much Ban could do. He spread himself well, and just those millimeter perfect shot. See that on the replay. This big band surge has come back on for Braza as they look to have that ball up top and a potential link up from Davison and Surge as Davison shoots and spilled by Juan Sanchez, but no one there to capitalize on the mistake. Ball down the line, but Braza just playing it safe and keeping it out. Person at the back post unmarked, but Davison does well to rotate around defensively. Davison forcing that ball forward to Surge as the Good shot there from Burnett trying to get an early shot on, but that long ball was definitely a bit forced, but bobbled their way this occasion. Restarting play here. Sanchez rolls it out to Hernandez. Davidson putting great pressure there. No foul. Referee says play on. As Ban rolls out to Sayon, out to Burdett. It's long in, in surge and the foul is called. The foul is called, two hands in the back. You can see Surge is getting frustrated. We thinks he's been getting fouled by number eight, Alejandro Hernandez. He wins himself the free kick. 
in a dangerous position here for Raza. Obviously going 1-0 down, but there's still plenty of time left in this contest. As Serge goes for the shot, and that was not far away. They're finding that top right-hand corner. Just caught out David Sanchez there. So restart play here with the Condors. That wide, Hernandez. Chip ball down the line. Trying to find Quintero, but just couldn't find him. Milamachi brings it down. Condor's happy to just sit at the moment. Congest space, not let, obviously, the danger man surge get that ball and have time and space to turn and shoot. And there's the interception, but surge does brilliantly to regain the ball as Fordyce collects at the back. Out to Ban. The ball to Burdett was just a bit sloppy, and Condor's regained possession. They have just been on top in this first half, but as I say that, Hernandez miscommunicates with Flores and just couldn't find that pass down the line. Band goes long, Hernandez does well to get in front and clears that ball away from target man surge. As we see Young into, into Fordyce, who takes a long-range effort and wins himself a corner. As we hear coach Michael Middleton from Sterling Browser Jinga saying they're going to start with a three-quarter press, put pressure on the Condors, as now they have a 2v1 opportunity. Fordyce lost it. He crosses it back, and he goes for the back heel leg, but what an incredible save there by Zane Ban. And now going the other way, gets dispossessed by... Gets dispossessed there by Flores, and now Sanchez goes long. Quintero, beautiful, full way pass one. Serge as well comes back inside. What a contest we have on our hands. Challenges flying. Milamachi collects as we just take a little bit of a breath, but back down to Serge, into Milamachi. He thinks he was foul, but we'll see you on the replay. That end-to-end -end futsal. We thought Condors were going to take that opportunity, but incredible save there by Zane Bannon. It looks like the Condors players really, really hurt at the moment. It looks like he's in a lot of pain from that challenge from Sterling Browser Jingo. So take a deep breath here. It's obviously been a, those last couple minutes indeed was action packed. It was Flores that, that hurt himself. Claps from the crowd as Flores has been good this first half and he's, he's injured himself for the time being. It's a Condor's ball here, restarting with... Restarting play here with Alvarado, back to Hernandez, does want to get past one, but Milamachi says no. A minute remaining, of course. We're in stop clock territory. Resets play. So we hear the press call from Braza Jinga. They do well there just to win the ball back as Fordyce will take the kick in. Fordyce to Young. He takes a touch, goes for the shot, but well cleared there by Hernandez. Young. Fordyce out to Milamachi, tries to find, try to find Surge in that target position, but the pass just goes astray, and Surge couldn't find a right connection on that as restart play here. Quintero 
Good footwork to try and guess pa get past Young, but he resets and resets to Gomez. As Gomez goes for that long ball to Hernandez, but Milamachi does well and wins himself a side kick. 37 seconds remaining in this first half. It's been action packed. Chances for other side, but at the moment we have a 1 0 lead for the Condors. As that ball down to the target and surge was good, but he just couldn't get his footwork right to get the right connection on it. As we restart here with Gomez, goes long, tries to find Hernandez but just runs out of real estate. Bordas. Goes long to Surge. Uses his body well, cuts in size. Miller he goes for the shot and, and there's the follow up and what a double save there by Juan David Sanchez. Miller thought that he had the back of the net but then Sanchez with a brilliant save and Surge then came flying in with the header. He thought he made it 1-1, but Sanchez keeps his clean sheet intact. He's been incredible this first half. Made sure that the Condors boys haven't conceded. Nine seconds remaining. Fordas out to Milamachi. Milamachi, seconds remaining in that. Wasn't far away. And that will see us for this first half of action of the Men's Superliga. C grand final as we go along and that will be time thanks for joining us and hope you stick around for the second half we'll be back just with just after this ad break futsal competitions five nights a week at Mount Lawley and West Perth. Whether you're an individual or have a group of mates who want to play, there's a junior, men's, women's or mixed competition that will suit you. Contact us to get involved in futsal, an action-packed sport and the fastest growing sport in Australia. Play restarts with the Condors. Of course, just remind it is 1 0 to the Condors. All to play for us. Braz have had their chances, but so far, Juan David Sanchez has kept a clean sheet, doing extremely well. Ball goes long from Ban, and Baker turns him well as he lays off for Burnett. And a bit of deflection there, but seems like Condors are able to clear their lines, and they are. And we'll see it out. For Sanchez, who has a beautiful distribution with his hands. We'll see if he can hit the target. Tries to go short to Antos Savadic. And that's a back pass. Be an indirect free kick for Braz. We'll see. Matt, they might use their timeout. I'm not sure for this situation. Be an e excellent set piece opportunity. Davidson asking for this ball. Burnett giving it to Sayon who shoots and hits the bar. It's a beautiful set play by Brazajinga. Condor's defense wasn't set up right and Antovic showing some good skill as he skips past one and lays it off for Gomez. Pull there from Davidson. That'll be a caution for Davidson. Of course, recall the finals last round and Davidson scored an absolute banger from the half court. So we'll see if he can do that for Brazzer again. And that's a beautiful shot, but just seen out. Bain had it covered. Now with Burdett. 
Beautiful ball to Tiger, and Baker just lets it run under his feet. Sayon delivering a beautiful ball to the Tiger first time. Heavy press from Brazo, and gets just a short to Atensovic. Ball with Gomez. Plays that wide and wasn't happy with his options there. Quintero putting on some nice pressure as Gomez seems to win the battle against Baker in that occasion. Ball hits Sanchez, plays nice one two, but in the wrong position and Davison just goes for a spectacular shot and hits the top. Ball starting with Gomez and seems like Condors are going to go long in this occasion and they do. Sayon doing extremely well to hold off such a physical presence and lays it off for Baker who does a nice layoff but Gomez collects and shows nice footwork but holds on too long and just gets the ball bobbling his ways. Now Condors are on the counter attack and Antovic but now Brazo going the opposite way and it's three on two but Condors are doing well to get back as one dives in and Gomez doing extremely well to cover that angle. It's end to end action here, ball with Davidson now. Will he take a play on and gets misplaced his footing and that's a foul. We'll see if that's the second yellow. It is, and he's gone. It'll be three, four men on the court for Brazza. Davidson sent off in the finals after the spectacular and complaining to the referees, won't do much now. Set play opportunity for the Condors. See what they've worked on the training ground. Perez stepping up. We have two players, one on each of the posts. Ball was shot and a beautiful goal into the top corner but and should have done better but it's a beautiful strike and that makes it 2-0 to the Condors. See the Condor bench absolutely going and we have a timeout for Sterling Brazajinga. We'll see how Michael Middleton, the coach, decides to restrap his side for the rest of the half. We will join you after this quick ad break. And welcome back. Condors just taking that 2-0 advantage. There's still 10 seconds left on the timeout, but both teams eager to get this one underway. Obviously, Braza get their fourth player back on the field as we hear the party songs coming out from the Condor supporters. They're definitely happy, but the Braza, Braza men definitely won't give up. There's still plenty of time left in this contest. Chipped it down to Serge, but they just couldn't find him. Responding play here with Sanchez out to Perez. Across to Gomes. Braza adopting the full press, but Gomes, brilliant footwork. Gets past one, gets past two, inside. And here's a 2v1 opportunity for Braza. He plays wider, Milamarkin. They're just not taking their chances, Braza, in this game. They've had a, some clear-cut opportunities, and Sanchez has stood strong, and and just forced these shots to go astray and made some big saves indeed as Ban collects. Wide to 
Fordyce. That was a sloppy pass and now Kondal's regain possession and Tanisovic goes for the shot but just wide. It's Ben, goes long to Serge. Takes him one way, well defended there by the Condors. No foul called as they bring it long, but Milamachi does well back in possession. The foul is called there. Yeah. Foul is called, play on. Condors back in possession. There's an opportunity here, but Fordyce does well. Claridge into Surge. Back row to Milamachi. Again. It is called a goal kick, but Sanchez just Sanchez made himself big and forced the shot to go astray by Milamachi. Ten minutes remaining, plenty of time for Sterling Brasajinga to get back into this contest as Sanchez goes long into Schimpf, but well defended. Four dice out to Milamachi, but lose possession. Hernandez will be back at three. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. The Condors bench celebrate, but they've been called back in. So we'll watch the replay there, but that, the goal shot was Ethan Shrimp there. Braza, yeah, that was Milamachi with a, a loose touch. Loses possession and gave Condors the opportunity to take a 3 0 advantage. Milamachi. He'll want to get himself back on the goal skeet. Down to Surge. Takes the shot, but Gomez has defended him brilliantly all game. He's been sensational in marking the likes of Surge and Baker. Out wide. Back into Gomez. Milamachi just possesses him. He'll have to take this opportunity, but Sanchez again. Stand strong. He's been sensational all throughout this game. Gomez chips it long, Claridge collects. Into Gomez. Out wide, tries to take on Fordyce, but the ball was out of play. Claridge tried to find Surge, but the support in Hernandez. Did well to come across and they're double teaming that man in surge now and here comes Hernandez. Wide but Claridge reads it well. Foul called here. That'll be the third foul here for Condors. As we see Fordyce check out for Young. Claridge. Wide to Young. Out wide to Milamachi but hasn't been great this second half and another loose touch there. Had wider. Ethan Shrimp, good press here by Braza. But Gomez again skips past two. Looks for the diagonal ball to Hernandez, but almost got there, Hernandez. Back into Milamachi. Down to Surge. He's always looking to turn on that right boot, but Gomez read him well again. And Young did well to just make sure that pass didn't get. Through to the flanker. Resets here to Perez. Goes long. Good target play as it resets to Gomez. Out to Perez. Down the line to Hernandez. They're keeping possession extremely well here. Are the Condors Futsal Club? Quinterio. Resets to Perez. They're clapping. Mocking the Brazza players. And so we hear the press call now by Brazza, but they're going to have to get a move on with it. Seven and a half minutes remaining. Ball reset for Brazza. And a beautiful goal there from Sergio. We'll have to see that on the replay. Beautiful target play. He's been Braz's main outlet in the season and receives it nice and high and turns well, gives himself enough space from the defender and goes for that toe poke. Juan Sanchez blindsided. See if the comeback is on. Seven minutes 
remaining of the half. Brazil will need at least two to send it to extra time. Baker fouled. And a good set on a ball was out, deemed by referees. Ball with Gomez, played out wide and hit right to Milamachi. Can Milamachi finish? And Sanchez coming to save the Condors again. And we have the injured player, Flores, back on the court. Burnett going for a wide strike. This will be a timeout for the Condors. As we'll join you back after this quick break. Play a restart from the Condors. They called the timeout, hoping to stem the way that has been browsed in the last couple of minutes. Of course, two big chances as Sanchez goes long to Schumpf. Schumpf showing nice physicality, lays it off well. Nice flick ball down wide to Quintiano. And he shoots, and Bain with a beautiful save, beautiful technique there from Bain. Just shoots short to Way. Way showing nice footwork, finds target Baker. Baker showing some nice footwork, lays it off for Milamachi. Milamachi, quick with his feet. Takes decides to take him on and distribute well to Way. Way opens up for the shot and a good save there from Sanchez. Gonna have to be an absolutely beautiful strike to, to challenge Sanchez from that angle. Milamachi, all the goal to aim at, but a lot of wall are right in front of him. Baker showing some nice physicality. And a call, foul called against Condors, Gomez, the offender. Milamachi standing over this ball. Looks like Burnett is, Burnett is wide open. If he steps a little bit more, he'll be even more open as he shoots. And good cover over there from Schumpf. A harder ball would have been nice for Burnett to get a nice shot off. Play to Gomez, who lets it run across him and Hits the target, Schumpf and Schumpf showing some absolute beautiful, phys beautiful physicality and winning it back almost for Bacon. And Sanchez covers well. A foul called against the Condors to let the advantage play and Sanchez is just down getting a little bit of a kick to the toe. Brazza bench urging the referees to stop the time, but they're not listening. Of course, it's up to the referee's discretion if they wish to stop the time as Way stands over it, shoots, and deflection off the Condor's wall, but well wide as they went themselves a the corner. Back with Way, and he shoots, and Gomez covering well. Got to say, con for the Condor's, Gomez and Juan Sanchez has been absolutely crucial for them. Condors are on five fouls, so any more fouls and it'll be a 10 metre penalty. Of course, you would back Juan Sanchez to save a good deal of them, but we'll have to see what happens in this game. Ball goes long to Schumpf, and Schumpf just clearing it up into the ceiling. Back in play for Brazza as Ways on the ball. Finding a nice ball to Baker, and Baker getting physically beaten there as Schumpf now drives. Now Braz are on the counter-attack. Ball just sloppily passed there over the top. Ball with Sanchez, given short to Gomez. 
Gomez now looking to go long and finds Hernandez well. Hernandez doing a little bit of acrobatic skill there to get the ball behind him, but hits the top roofing. Burdett to way. Now back to Burdett and nice ball there to Claridge and Claridge fighting well and winning himself a side ball for his efforts. Back to Burdett, he shoots and hits the top bar and looks like Sanchez was beaten on that occasion but saved by the woodwork. Ball going long, trying to find Hernandez, but Huey does well defending him, seeing it out. Of course, it'll be very possible for Braz to come back into this game. We've got three minutes remaining. They just need a goal a minute. We'll see what they can do. As Hernandez is now on the ball, just spinning wide, and see if he can beat Claridge, and they do down the line, but now it's a Braz, a counter-attack as Baker is on the drive. Good, beautiful chance there from Gomez. And Burnett puts on the pressure, but Gomez has got that quick feed, and now the Condors are on the counter-attack. Gomez doing absolutely brilliantly with his good footwork to stem off the Braza press. Ball back to him. He seems to be the main man today, playing lots of minutes, playing the ball forward, and a beautiful chance for Hernandez, and Band just comes out and collects easily, disputes well to Way. Way forcing the ball to target, and gets Claridge. Goes for the toe poke, but can't find him as... Braza, Sergio with the second goal in the beautiful cutback and we'll see if Braza are in for this game as it's 2-3. Are you not entertained ladies and gentlemen? 3-2, one goal deficit. Two minutes remaining. We're now in stop clock territory. Sergio just checked in. The initial ball by Claridge. The initial ball by Claridge didn't get to him, but the follow-up was, except, was exceptional by Claridge to get it to him. And with only one goal remaining, one minute, 53 seconds. And remember that the Condors are on five fouls. It's now... Gomez, he's been exceptional all throughout this game. Goes for the shot, but the wall stands strong. Milamachi and Serge were strong to deny that opportunity. Ball was off the line, and now Brasa will regain possession. Restarting play here with Gomez. He looks, looks like he's going to play it long. Goes on to Antanasovic, but goes out for Ban. Ban's going to go long. Tries to hit Claridge, but we hear, see Serge just asking for the ball to go long. Sanchez hits Antanasovic, but that pass didn't find Hernandez. Still in possession here, and that's going to be a foul for Braza and a 10 metre penalty. A 10 metre penalty here for Sterling Braza Jinga, and who else but. The main man in Serge, he was kept quiet in the first half, but he came out strong and got himself two second half goals. This to make it three for him, a hat trick, and to be three all. The fans in the crowd cannot look. Sanchez has been exceptional. Can you believe what this game is producing us as Sherd steps up, he goes for the shot, but amazing save there by Juan David Sanchez. Still a minute 35 remaining. They set up quickly. Milamachi with the save. No foul call, play on. And Tanisovic now plays wide, but a missed touch. Claridge out to Serge with a clean tackle there by Hernandez, and we take a breath, but there's still a minute 23. Action, Romani goes for the shot. Hernandez with a miraculous block there to deny Serge. Serge resets to Milamachi, goes for the shot. Again, blocked by Hernandez. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just take a deep breath. Calm the nerves. Goes for the shot again, Gomez. 
He's been exceptional in this grand final. Definitely a shout for man of the match, but the game's not over here. Claridge down to Yong, squares the ball, but well blocked there by Quinterio. Cuts it inside, and now it's a foot race. Milamachi and Tanisovic gets their first squares it, but Claridge is there to mop up, goes down the line, through the middle, but surges, touches, and Tanisovic cuts it inside. This will sail it. Heavy touch, though. Heavy touch, though, by Quinterio. It releases the browser. 3v2. Claridge gets past one. San Sanchez again. Gets his body in between, 48 seconds remaining. Can you believe this match as Sanchez goes long, finds Hernandez, good first touch, and Serge, exceptional defensive work rate. Hernandez goes for the shot, just wide. The crowd cannot believe what we're witnessing as Ban goes short to Young. 35 seconds, wide to Milamachi. Chip ball down the line to Serge. Gomez again reads him excellently like a book and Sir Joy's looking for his right boot there but couldn't find him inside the pass Miller, by Milamachi hasn't been good enough. Exceptional work right there by Ethan Shrimp. He was the second half goal scorer. But Claridge get past one. Becomes it inside but Hernandez covers his feet. 16 seconds remaining. Can Braza Jinga get one more goal to take it into extra time. They have been on top in the second half, goes inside. Sanchez was swiped out there by Serge, will win himself a free kick. Full press here, called by Braza, 16 seconds. Gomez is just gonna go long. Chips it long, but Claridge does well to get between that. 14 seconds, goes out of play, 12 seconds to go. Silverware on the line, the title for men's Super League will be a Zane Band steps up, four dice back into Serge. Well cleared there by Hernandez for the double team. I meant Super League C, into Baker, but well cleared, three, two. Well cleared by Claridge. Condor's Futsal Club have done it. What a contest. The fans are up in arms and all the players go into jump around as we hear the chants coming in. They, they claim that fourth spot on the last match day. They beat West Coast Cobras in the semi-final now. Here they celebrate. They've won their first silverware of the season in the Men's Super League C. What a game we had on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Brazil were coming strong in those last few moments with the 10 meter penalty. Juan David stood strong and he'll be a shout for man of the match. As we see all the players now console, obviously. Heartbreak for Brazil Jinga. They did finish the season in second place. But Condor's Futsal Club came out on top. The goal scorers for today, one by for Condor's Futsal Club, one by Perez, one from Ethan Shrimp, and the last one from Christian Gomez. And then for Braza Jinga, both goals by Serge Stotanovic. Unlucky not to get the result today, Braza Jinga, but on the other side of the coin. Celebrations from Condor's Futsal Club. Thanks for joining us in this Men's Super League final, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see you next weekend for all the action that unfolds then. Thank you.